This dish is so easy to make. Cook onions on low heat. Season with salt and white pepper. If you don't have a white pepper, just use black pepper. Add minced garlic. Do not burn the onions and garlic. If you burn them, your broth will be darker. When the onions are soft, remove from the heat and cool it down. In a bowl, put cream fresh. Add chicken stock and whisk. If you don't have a cream fresh, don't worry, you can use a sour cream. You can also use milk instead of chicken stock and squeeze in a little lemon juice. However, sour cream and milk tend to curd with heat, so cream fresh is a better option if you want a cleaner looking dish. But in my opinion, the taste is pretty similar, so don't worry and use whatever you have in your fridge. In a big baking dish, put fish and season with salt and white pepper. Again, I am using white pepper for a cleaner look. It's a purely for appearance, so if you have a black pepper, by all means, use it. Season the other side as well. Add sautéed onions. Add cherry tomato helps. Put small cubed butter on top of the fish. Season with extra salt and pepper. Pour the creamy broth over the fish, and the fish should be completely submerged. And this goes into the oven at 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. Check the fish whether it's ready. When you cut cod with your fork, it should fall apart easily. If it's not ready, put it in the oven a little bit longer. Serve with toasted baguette and garnish with chopped parsley. There we go! So easy, yet so delicious and so elegant. Enjoy this warm, delightful cod and creamy broth.